Welcome. In this example, we'll show how MicroStrategy integrates with R and how MicroStrategy can apply PMML models to predict a customer's probability to churn. Specifically, we're going to be integrating with R, and R is going to be calculating the Cox Regression Survival Model for us. Cox Regression Survival Model is based off of a curve. The curve has a bell. This ultimately represents a person's probability to survive, and specifically, we're going to be looking at the probability of a customer no longer being our customer, and this is what we're going to be calculating through the model. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a sample data set where we have our customers. Those customers have a value of 0 or 1 for churn. That is calculated by taking a look at whether or not they should have renewed. If they should have renewed, then we give them a value of 0 because they're less likely to churn. If they shouldn't have renewed, we give them a value of 1. We are calculating the number of days that these customers have been our customers. And we're also taking the cumulative invoice amount that we've invoiced those customers over these days. Plus, we're also going to be factoring in which software package they purchased within our model. Now, with MicroStrategy, once you have that data set, you can export that data set to a CSV file. Once you have that CSV file, you can actually do a Save As. We're going to save it as ECH, sample data, and we're going to go to all files so that we could save it as a CSV. I've already done this before, so the file's already there, but I'm just going to go ahead and override it anyways and say save. Do you want to replace it? I'm going to say yes. Now I have my data, and now I can go into R, my open source um, statistics and predictive analytics tool, and apply my data. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to run my survival model library. Then I'm going to run my PMML library so that I could ultimately export this model into PMML. Seeing as how I know where this is saved, there is my CSV file called churn data. I'm just going to tell R where that location is, and I'm going to set my location where I'm going to be working from. Then I'm going to have R read my CSV file, which is called churndata.csv, and I'm telling it that there are headers in my data. Then I'm going to ask R to summarize what's in my CSV file. I can see that the minimum number of days in, within my sample data set um, that a customer has been a customer is 261. And my longest customer in my sample data set was 936 days that they've been. And I can see that my minimum invoice amount in my sample data was $50. And my maximum cumulative invoice amount over the past two to three years was $97,000. Then I'm actually going to tell R to attach that file. And I'm going to define my Cox model. And you can see here, it's going to take into account days, it's going to calculate it by churn, and it's also going to take into account the cumulative invoice amount and which software package they purchased. Have R run it. Now we're going to take a look at our Cox model. There we can see that there are the coefficients and the variables that are being defined for us. And then we're just going to ask R to summarize our model. We can see all the different statistical variables that it produces. And once we're done with that, we're just going to go ahead and ask R to export that model to a PMML format so that we can import it through MicroStrategy. And then it's going to save that PMML file as Cox Regression R console.xml because that's what we told it to save it as. And now it's already saved it. And now we can just go back into MicroStrategy and we can import that model. Going to Tools, Data Mining Model, and we're going to select the model that we imported. We're just going to open that up. There you can see that it reads that we have a predicted value and we also have the probability um, that that value, or in other words, the probability that that value is true or the confidence level for that value. So we have the score and we have the confidence of the score that the model provided for us. We're just going to say OK. 
We're going to tell it where to save. We've already done this before, so it says you want to overwrite your objects. We're just going to say yes. Okay. Now we can just go ahead and add those metrics to our report, and we can see that we have the score here that it assigned to every customer. Um, clearly, the lower the score, the lower the probability to churn, and vice versa, the higher score, the higher probability to churn. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that score and act actually calculate the propensity to churn, which is this final part of the equation. And we can just do that very simply through MicroStrategy. You can see that we're going to take our score and we're going to do the exponential of that score. Sorry, we're going to take the score and we're going to subtract it minus the average of all of the scores, and then we're going to take the exponential value uh, exponent of that entire result. Once we have that, we end up with a metric that is propensity to churn, and then we can just sort our data set by descending order so that we can have the customers that have the highest propensity to churn um, in the first of the rows. So now I know that come first thing Monday morning, the first top people that I'm going to be placing a call to will be Kinsonia, Nelson, Michael, Efred, Marta, Ronnie, and James because they have the highest propensity to churn.